Hi, this is Christy Spicer. I'm a therapist here at Family Services and wanted to take a couple minutes and just talk to you about the importance of scheduling and how to, some different ways of doing that um, that might work well for you or your family. So the first thing I wanna talk about is maybe doing like a visual schedule for children who are younger that need a little extra support and understanding of what's coming next in their day. This is an example of a fairly complicated visual schedule that could be used um, with the different things that you want your child to do. This one, because we get to after lunch, is probably around mid-afternoon. Um, that you would get to with it. But these little visuals, you can get them on the internet. There's lots of different resources. If you put in visual schedule into a Google search, you'll be able to find some that you can print. If printing's not an option for you, that's not a problem, you can create your own. Um, and I made a couple for you here too. So like there's one for schoolwork, um, now with kids doing work at home, um, that might be something that you need. Um, also, here's an example of like puzzles, if you want that to be on their schedule for the day, or water the flowers, you know, whatever it is that you wanna make sure you have on the, your schedule. Um, and so this will help kids know what's coming. Um, you can change it every day or you can keep it the same, uh, but then they'll know what your expectations are and what you have planned. As an adult, you might want to do it a little bit different. It's really important with schedules as an adult to try to wake up at the same time every day and maybe go to bed at about the same time every day. And then have a few other things throughout the day that you try to keep at about the same time. Maybe lunch can be about the same time or dinner, um, breakfast, that kind of thing. And then the other thing is maybe setting some goals for yourself each day that like by 10 a.m. I'm going to get my first load of laundry done or by two o'clock if I have haven't yet gone for a walk that I'm going to. By four, maybe something else um, you want to have done for the day to give yourself something to kind of set some goals and something to achieve um, so that you can kind of keep some structure um, to your day. And your mental health and your physical health will like having a schedule. Um, we like rhythm. Usually we have that built in normally. Um, these times are a little more challenging for us. And so by spending a little time thinking about how you want to do a schedule either for yourself or for your children um, can really be helpful um, in just kind of navigating these days that are not as active as we're used to.